And now more coverage from News Channel 8's Rod Carter on the first commercial flight from Tampa to Cuba. Rod will be making his way back to us tomorrow, but not without one final unforgettable night in Havana. Tonight, Rod shows us the nightlife of the city. And good evening from Havana, Cuba. Since we first got here yesterday morning on the first direct commercial flight from Tampa to Cuba on Southwest, we've showed you all the sights and the sounds during the day. Tonight, we wanted to show you just how beautiful and alive this city can be at night. Not just the beautiful lights that you see behind me, but some of the sounds that you get here in Havana. <laughs> When the sun goes down, Havana comes alive again. Shops open, and it seems there's music on nearly every corner. You know, people um, come for that. Yosnil Cabos Valbuena is a tour guide in Havana. He told me the energy and the vibrancy of this part of Havana after dark is unparalleled. I always suggest him to stay in Havana at night because there's a lot more to do. One place he says tourists love and is a must try is the Floridita. It was Ernest Hemingway's hangout and the original home of the daiquiri. But as festive as it is here now, it wasn't always this way. Just two weeks ago, when Fidel Castro died, a mandated nine days of mourning, the music and the dancing stopped. The city, for the most part, fell silent. That actually uh, shocked a lot of people because people who planned a trip to Cuba and they were hoping to find the live music in the streets. But tonight, the music is back. The joy is back. It's, you, you got the combination of good weather, yeah. a good mojito, and a good music, and then you, you're visiting one of the most crowded and visited you know, street in Havana. And there's a spring and people step again. And that tour guide told me, too, that it's not just the city of Havana. You can actually travel outside of Havana and find some amazing things at night and during the day throughout the entire country of Cuba. In Havana, Rod Carter, News Channel 8, back to you. Thanks, Rod. You can watch all of his stories from Cuba this week. We've put a link on the homepage of WFLA.com.